Hello, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which has been highly requested. You've been asking for it. It is the updated home tour. Now, I must apologize in advance because I am still feeling a bit groggy. I had COVID a couple of weeks ago, so my body is still recovering. I've got a bit of a cough, which hopefully Simon can edit out and I get out of breath quite easily. So I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of the whole house, upstairs and downstairs. And yeah, hopefully I won't get too out of breath. Here we go. Right, so once we are in through the front door, we come into our little entrance type area here. We've got a fiddly fig and then we've just got a little console table bowl where we normally pop our keys. Sometimes I give this a little bit of a change up, which you'll usually see over on Instagram. But yeah, that's that, That's it. Now, this hasn't changed that much since the last video, which I think we shared seven months after we moved in. Um, so not much has changed in this area here, apart from the fact that we did eventually get a light fitting. But yeah, that's that. Now, we go into the office, first of all, and this has changed a little bit because we've taken out the desk that we used to have in here because the desk that we had was absolutely ginormous and every time I wanted to film obviously you can kind of tell this is my little filming backdrop I usually sort of stand over there somewhere and uh, I basically I had to keep moving the desk every time I wanted to film so we dismantled it because we thought that was the best option and now this is how the room looks not really an office just a filming room so there we go, there is the former office, now filming room. If we go out of here, the dogs are having an episode. And down the corridor, I'm not gonna take you to the grim upstairs just yet. I'm gonna take you into our bedroom. Right, so this is our current bedroom. I say current, because obviously as we've mentioned several times before, we may well move upstairs. I actually really like being on the ground floor having lived always in, you know, like proper house, a townhouse or just normal houses, not converted bungalows. Probably never even considered sleeping on the ground level, but I really like it. And when I had COVID, I must admit, not having to use any stairs to go to a toilet or anything, you know, to go downstairs to get a drink or whatever, that was a real delight. So yeah, it has, it has its perks. So this room is very minimal as you can see we really don't have a lot of furniture obviously my wardrobe is upstairs Simon's wardrobe is in there I would like to get a bedside table Simon is not interested in a bedside table in fact he very adamantly does not want one so perhaps we will just get the one bedside table for me because I like to have somewhere to put my phone a glass of water I always need a glass of water during the night so I would quite like to have one but as of yet and I do search weekly I have not found the right bedside table we obviously had all of our windows changed which I think was after I filmed yeah I think it was after I filmed the last updated home tour so that's one thing that's new all of the windows have been changed these are all slimline aluminium double glazing obviously we've got a little fly net on there at the moment but yeah, these are all aluminium. They were that, if you remember, that awful leaded sort of mahogany UPVC, which was grim. And now they're nice and black and minimal. And then we go into one of our more recent projects, which is our ensuite. Don't actually think we have anything left to do in here. Um, I must say though, this is such an improvement on the bathroom, how it was before. This has just lightened it, brightened it, just made it feel so much more airy, makes it feel nice and calm and sort of, um, I was going to say soothing, soothing's the wrong word. It just, I don't know, it's just a nicer environment to be in than how the bathroom was before. Um, and we are very much enjoying it. Zero regrets thus far. Oh, apart from maybe this. I kind of wish we hadn't gone for a black trim, which I know we have a lot of black, so it does fit in, but that's that's a minor regret. Anyway, yes, storage here. As you would have seen before in the old 
bathroom set up. We had a towel rail here. We never put towels on the towel rail. We just, we just don't do that. So we got rid of the towel rail, got a little heater, which also doubles up as a bench, which is great. I use that every night when I'm brushing my teeth, I have a little sit down, especially now because I get out of breath, just walking two steps. So yeah, there we go. Bathroom, again, a full video on this whole rip out and redo that's on the channel in the home playlist. And just for ease, if anyone sort of struggles to navigate YouTube, because I know it's a little bit complicated, I'll leave links down below in the description box as well. I'm just gonna have a moment to catch my breath and then we'll move out there. Okay, I've had a minute to catch my breath. <laughs> Let's go out into the hallway. So back out into the hallway and we've just got in this sort of bit of blank space here, we've got a little um, cabinet here, which holds games, bingo pens for the pub and also my kombucha stash and our alcoholic beverages. So that is what that is for and what we hide in there. And then we've obviously got coffee table book and a light for just lighting up the hallway, which we mainly use in winter when it gets darker, a sort of at an earlier time. Right, now we're not gonna go into the kitchen just yet. I'm gonna go into our downstairs toilet, which is, as you can see, if I don't put the light on, so dark in fact my phone is making it look much brighter but it's so dark and gloomy in here because there are no windows as you would have seen if you watched our downstairs toilet renovation video which again was done at the same time as the ensuite in our bedroom so those were two projects which were worked on and completed at the same time now this again is a vast improvement on the setup we had before so much brighter, just a nicer place to come and be. And we actually also had made it a little bit bigger. So I think before this wall area came out to about here. Yeah, so there we go. Let's move on to, oh, do I need another breath first? I think I do. Right, I've had a breath and I've moved back a bit just so that we can kind of enter the kitchen in a grand way because previously this was obviously one of the biggest things that we did as part of the kitchen renovation we just had a single door so just sort of this size going into the kitchen we added these double glass doors just to add in so much light just to make it lighter we're all about natural light and uh yeah gives a much nicer entrance into the kitchen slash tv lounge sort of area we're over a year having had the kitchen wrapped and a lot of people have been asking, how is it holding up? It's great. I love it. Honestly, couldn't recommend it enough. We've obviously got a black and it doesn't really show out in true form on camera um, because it is black and cameras just don't like black. Um, but it is jet black and we've got this sort of fake wood texture to it, which I would highly recommend having a textured wrap. It's great. I mean, we you would have obviously seen our cleaning video a couple of weeks ago, maybe. And yeah, it's it, we clean it every week, but it honestly doesn't need it. It's just because I love to clean, <laughs> but it doesn't show up fingerprints. It doesn't show up anything. It's, it's really good. I would highly recommend. And then over here, this is where we spend. I think this area in general is definitely where we spend the most time, which is a stark contrast to our old house, because our old house had a narrow galley kitchen. So it wasn't really an area where you could sort of socialize or hang out. Whereas this, I mean, it's, it's a million times bigger than what we had before. We didn't have an island and now we do. And this is over in that seat over there is where I'm normally perched doing my work. And then here we go. The baby's enjoying their little spot. They spend most of their time in this area as well, normally doing this, <laughs> snoozing. Um, let's have a close-up, shall we? Because they're just too damn cute. There's Boris. And then we've got Bumble. You got your tongue out, B. Oh my God, that's adorable. And then we've got Bella, the mum. And then Bo, who's just decided to go and have a snuggle in the donut bed. You alright, baby girl? One thing we have done, which I haven't properly spoken about, but I have sort of mentioned casually in little bits of content, is that we've extended our sofa. 
So you might remember that we had a, just this two seater and then the arm rest would go there. And this area is quite large. I mean, we've still got gaps here on either side where we probably need to get some coffee tables or side tables or something. But we decided to add a chaise section because it's not like we don't have the room for it. This area is quite large and that has been very, very useful indeed and looks better. But as you'll see, one thing that's still on the to-do list is we need, now need to move the art to be more central. I say art, very loosely termed. So there we go. There's a look at the kitchen. We'll go in there in a moment, I think. Or will I go upstairs first? I haven't decided yet. Um, upstairs, I think. It's probably the best stop to go next. Right, so upstairs we have barely touched. I've clearly not been careful with the paint and we still have that base panel wall panelling which runs along the bottom. Now I did paint this wall here, this was blue, the same blue as that you see up there. Um, I painted that just so that it felt like the downstairs was a little bit more uh, neutral toned and not blue because that blue actually reflects and make it feel really cold, especially in winter. So I wanted to get rid of that blue. Now, if we go upstairs, please do excuse the carpet and I wouldn't look too closely because it really needs replacing. So upstairs, we've got quite, I think, a spacious landing area. Excuse my washing. There's lots of little sort of nooks and crannies and we've got storage everywhere. So in all these little nooks, we've got storage that goes all the way back into the eaves because of course, this is a converted bungalow. So if I pan back to over here, You'll see obviously we're technically in the roof now so all of our upstairs is basically in the roof it's like one large attic let's go into my wardrobe which was uh, the first ikea hack that we did in this house we now have quite a few and um, so again there is a full video on this entire project so technically this is that's the smallest bedroom on uh, in the house but i or we rather have transformed it into my wardrobe slash dressing room and this is where all of my clothing and bags which are in these cabinets all of that stuff so everything is in here and then I have this additional cupboard here which has got all of my trainers and more shoes here on the side so that is basically all of my storage now let's move into this room which we had not so long ago we had a new door installed which is why that is sort of unfinished i need to paint that joanna of course it looks a bit dark in here at the moment but it is normally quite bright and this is the first guest room that we sort of did a makeover on where we replaced the flooring we put carpet in so it's a bit cozier and yeah, this is all now ready for any potential guests. We just kind of wanted to have one nice room for if we had anyone come to stay. Um, so that's what this room is. And it's also Simon's PlayStation. PlayStation or Xbox? Oh, I think it's a PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation playing area. So he sits there and this TV does actually come out. It comes out from the wall and then he can just sit and have his PlayStation time. And then we come out. I'm gonna go into my least favorite room of the house. And we actually had to use this bathroom. <laughs> Look at that bath panel, that should be white. And it's a weird shade of cream. Yeah, we actually had to use this bathroom for like two to three weeks whilst our bathrooms were being done downstairs, which, oh God, first world problems, isn't it? Oh my goodness, we had a spare bathroom, but it's honestly, it's I hate this room so much. It's just not it's really grim yeah it's just it's just it's just an odd sort of layout as well if i close this door so you come in through there you've got surprise surprise a corner toilet and then we've got the sort of shower bath area here and then a little wall and then a random because you can't actually i could only stand up in this section here i can't stand up down there so there's then more storage and a pile of our junk and uh a towel rail it's just I don't know, it just, it's a bit bizarre. So yeah, I hate this room, but I also, when I hate a room, that means I'm gonna love the transformation. So I can't actually wait until we get to the point 
where we can transform this bathroom. But for now, we normally keep the door closed in here and just leave it to rot. Now, you're about to see something really special. This is actually not a cupboard, this is a room. And this is currently, excuse me, how just disgusting this is. This is currently where we keep anything that we don't know where to put it at the moment. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh man. Yeah, this is, um, oh my God. It's just, I have no words. There is a reason why I never come in here and that's because this is basically the dumping room, which at one point used to be our utility and we've just got that done. So now that is nice and clean. Now this has become the dumping room. Anyway, let's escape this room, shall we? Because it's just giving me anxiety. This is a room that actually I would quite like to clear out ASAP and do a little a makeover on again, just maybe like a mini makeover. Again, just another take up the carpet, paint, etc, etc. Make it another nice guest room and get all of this into the places where it needs to be and not into a dumping ground. Yeah, let's 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 close the door on that one. Okay, let's head back downstairs because I have realised that I have forgot to show you the lounge and dining area. So we have from the hallway we've got a single door which goes into the lounge, which of course is open plan and goes into the dining area which is through there which we also have those double doors uh, those are normally always open but just for the sake of showing you guys we've got them closed so i'm going to go through this door just so we can have a look at the lounge uh, so i can't remember how this looked in the last video i think we have finished the lounge uh, in the last video and as I've mentioned before, this room doesn't really get used very much during the summer season because obviously we prefer to go and sit out in the kitchen, like by the bifolds, uh, just so that we can get all the fresh air coming in, etc. Yes, right, so there we go. There's the lounge, which then is open plan with our little archway into the kind of almost finished dining area it's usable it's just it looks a bit bare at the moment and I'm also having second thoughts about this rug but it will have to stay for now yeah so we haven't got anything else for this little nook over here haven't got anything over here as kind of deciding what we sort of wanted to have and we just we don't buy things for the sake of it just to fill a space um it doesn't bother us if stuff is unfinished for a little while um, so long as we can spend our money wisely on something that we'll actually keep, which is why the rug situation happened, because I sort of bought that in a rush, and now I'm like, I don't like it. It actually comes out really grey on camera, but it is more of a sort of torpy colour. It does have a bit more of a neutral tone to it in real life. Anyway, there we go. There's the dining table um, that we got from Cozy Wood. Our chairs, which we finally got. Obviously, this whole area in the last um, tour video was not even done. We had a wall that went across here. And then this little area here was like a random, random corridor. And now, now look at it. It's an actual usable dining area, which is nice. So that is open plan lounge and dining. And then our most, most recent project if we, oh, if I can get the handle, if we go through here, is the utility, which of course you will have seen quite a lot of over on Instagram because I have been creating all the reels <laughs> for the utility. It's probably been the one thing that I've been banging on about the most. Now, this is again finished and usable, but we still have some bits that we want to do. So, all this area over here is done, but as you will see, Simon's got the dog harnesses hanging up on my uh, Ikea hack era. We have this sort of space over here where we did think that maybe we should have like a bench so that we can sit down and like put our shoes on, etc, etc. And then perhaps up here somewhere to hang our coats and things during the winter season. Because at the moment, obviously, we're not going out in coats. 
but during autumn, winter and even spring, we will need a coat. So sort of thinking maybe something on here for coats, which I really don't like coats being hung up because uh, to me it looks really messy, but it's it's a utility. So, you know, utility isn't supposed to look pristine and everything in line. So, yeah, that's the sort of plan, hopefully, for there. But I still need I need to think a little bit more about the sort of design of this because I don't want to just rush something. Um, and then we did get a new hoover which you would have seen in our cleaning video. We've got a little bracket to hang that on the wall. So that's what we're gonna do with that for now. It's just charging away. And then, yeah, there we go. There is utility made up of predominantly Ikea furniture, Ikea pieces. Right, now if we go to the garden, there's not really much to report. There's nothing has changed obviously we've still got everything going on here the old patio etc that some point could be changed little seating area we've got down there and obviously the pool house and gym pool has been drained as you might have seen over on instagram it was just too expensive to keep running not very efficient at all so yeah, we decided to drain that. We were never going to keep it anyway, to be honest. Um, and then Jim is still in there. Um, definitely, there could be a mini project within that building soon, potentially. And that's pretty much it. Nothing more to report out here. And there we go. That concludes the home tour for today. Thank you, as always, for watching. And I'll see you next time.